YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. <clears throat> now, um, I don't even know where to start in this video. Um, Jalen Hurd went down yesterday in practice with a leg injury. Um, I believe it was a right leg injury. <clears throat> and I don't necessarily know exactly how it happened. I'm sure that'll come out, you know, as the story develops. But he injured his leg very, very badly, and the 49ers are currently fearing that it is a torn ACL. Now, nothing has been confirmed yet because obviously, you know, the MRI is what gives, you know, the players, the staff, and everybody answers as to what exact injury it is. But either way, this is a bad situation for, for Jalen Hurd and, and the organization considering Jalen Hurd missed all of last season due to back spasms, and he had to get surgeries on his back. He comes back, <clears throat> or, you know, everybody thinks that, you know, he's going to come back and be this stud, and another injury occurs, and it's a serious, more serious injury than probably the back injury was, uh, because obviously it's, as of right now, it's pretty much said and done that it's a torn ACL. Uh, we're just waiting on the MI, or MRI to confirm that. Now, like I said, I don't necessarily know exactly how this happened. All I know is that it was in practice um, during drills and, 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 and route running and things like that. The 49ers just have bad luck when it comes to people getting injured in the offseason. That's just how it's it's how it's been. It's it's how it's ever been since, you know, we've left Candlestick. A lot of people think it's a curse. I don't necessarily think it's a curse anymore. The 49ers are good now. They're going to be good for a very long time. But anytime you get a player... Like Jalen Hurd, who, you know, was projected to be a pretty decent receiver for the 49ers this upcoming season. He's a big guy. He's a physical guy. He's a, he's a red zone threat. He was, I mean, he looked great in the preseason last year. The preseason last year, he had two touchdowns against the Cowboys. Um, he had almost 100 receiving yards that game. I believe, he, I believe he broke 100 receiving yards that game. He went off during the preseason. A lot of people thought that, you know, he was going to be, you know, this – possibly Jimmy G's number one go-to target. Obviously, he was out all of last season with back spasms and things upon that nature. Um, and then Debo Samuel obviously emerged as, you know, pretty much Jimmy G's go-to target aside from, you know, Kendrick Bourne and, and Kittle and, and people like that. But, yeah, this is just a very, very unfortunate thing um, for Jalen Hurd, who's – this would have been his second season. Um, and, you know, I – I don't know. This is a shitty, shitty situation. Now, the 49ers are working out Jerron Brown. from uh, He played with Seattle last year. The 49ers are working him out. Um, we also signed Tavon Austin and J.J. Nelson the other day. I was actually going to make a video on that, but uh, I didn't end up getting to. And plus, I mean, you know, Tavon Austin and them, they could just be pieces for, for exact injuries like this. Um, so, I mean, obviously... You know, with Jalen Hurd being 6'5", not 6'6", six, six, I said 6'6", six, six. he's 6'5". Six, um, with him being that big, and, you know, it's just a very unfortunate thing for Hurd. I, I can feel for Jalen Hurd. I'm sure he's probably very, very pissed off. But, you know, injuries, just like D. Ford said last week in, <clears throat> in, you know, an interview, he said that injuries are guaranteed in football. You are not going to play football without getting injured and it's very very true it's just unfortunate that you know Jalen Hurd didn't get to play all last season looked great in the preseason last season and then obviously it was a letdown when you know 49ers fans came to the understanding that you know he was going to be out for the season with these back spasms and and these back issues he doesn't play all of last season we still go to a Super Bowl everybody's waiting as a you know his return this season and now we're here where the 49ers believe that Jalen Hurd has suffered a torn ACL, or at least they fear that it is a torn ACL. But any time, you know, a, a team staff or, you know, somebody comes out and says, you know, we, we, we fear it's this, we fear it's that, it's usually not a good sign. Um, and especially, you know, with the MRI, I'm going to guess those results will come back today, later today, or maybe tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, yeah, shitty situation for Jalen Hurd. Only thing I can really do is uh, wish him a speedy 
speed of recovery if it is, you know, a torn ACL and if he does have to sit out, you know, the whole season. But uh, it's a major knee injury. And, um, yeah, brutal, brutal blow uh, for the 49ers. But, you know, at the end of the day, Jalen Hurd did not play all well last season, and we still made the Super Bowl. So, obviously, the 49ers are going to have, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> players – here and there that are going to come on board and, and play in in the midst of injuries like this. So, really, in all reality, though, um, the 49ers shouldn't have let go of Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, I really wanted the 49ers to re-sign Emmanuel Sanders. Um, I was for that from the get-go, but we ended up not re-signing him. And now we're kind of taking the, the karma for it, really. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. This is just a bad. This is just a bad situation. Um, I would hope the 49ers bring in, you know, Jerron Brown or somebody like that. We're not going to have Debo Samuel until at least October of the season, so that's not that's not really going to help anything either. Uh, Debo Samuel suffered that uh, Jones fracture when Jimmy G camp was underway in Nashville or something like that, or somewhere in Tennessee. So. We're going to be a little slim at receiver. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of non-familiar guys that, you know, haven't been on this team. Tavon Austin, J.J. Nelson, possibly Jerron Brown if the 49ers end up signing him. But, I mean, we also have Brandon Ayuk, um, who a lot of people are forgetting about. Uh, Brandon Ayuk was the 20. He was our, our second first-round pick. Um, and I'm actually really excited for Brandon Ayuk. I think he was a sleeper pick, and I think he's going to be – extraordinary in, in Kyle Shanahan's offense. But, um, yeah. Sucks. <laughs>